Hey guys, it's Deathbringer back again for some more fun. So, as you can see, we have uh, we've done quite a lot since the last video, and I'm willing to go a little bit into it, but a lot of it I'm going to keep to myself because there are some secretive things, and I'm pretty sure that the only players that are currently watching my videos these days are the ones that are on my battlefield, so that they get extra information on what I'm doing and on how I am doing in my progress on the base. So you can see that we are now a little over a million power, 1.1 mil, as well as we are HQ 16. So pretty, uh, pretty good day when all of this comes together and the vast majority of my power is about half of its troops, but there's a lot of it in the buildings and the technology. Uh, the Air Force is a little bit and you can see the rest of it. Our officers are doing pretty well. And we currently have quite a lot going on when it comes to the battlefield. So, we have the battlefield chat going uh, a little crazy earlier today. And this is what I am going to be showing. This video is a hit. And how I do my hits and how... I feel like everybody should be doing their hits. So I have spoken with a couple of people and I doubt that they're willing to do it, but I extended the offer uh, to only have me hit the people that I am going to point out and to have everybody else be safe and to have only the two people here get burned and then I just teleport away. I don't know if they're going to like that very much but there are a lot of lower level people in this battlefield, lower than level 16s, and that have nowhere near the amount of power that I do. Now their core members' top uh, power that they have is around 910,000. Uh, I don't know if he's training anything right now, he most likely is. But currently he is 910,000 power, and he is HQ 19. So. If he plays his cards right, then he might be able to do something about this. But at the same time, he might also not be able to because of the tactic that I'm going to be using. And this is just the flat-out plain hit-and-run tactic that I always do. Um, but let me show you the reason behind it. So, there was a very large argument between... Uh, this character, which is a friend of mine's farm, and Alpha Gennaro. Alpha Gennaro is the pretty much uh, general jackass of the battlefield, and he throws everybody under the bus, and he tries to do everything that he can to piss people off and then threaten them and say that nothing is going to happen. So you can see that uh, he's still just talking shit, talking shit nonstop. And uh, talking that... IFK is losers and stupid, they left their clan and made their own clan and have barely 10 members and are a few of his farms. Well, I'll tell you right now that my clan, or core, as it's actually called, my core only has five real members. But yet, if we do the battlefield and the overall core ranking, with five real members and eight farms, here we are, on the top page still, on 12th. So, I mean, with five people, we are still able to get to the top page and eight farms. And those, like, I'll, sh I'll even show you my members. It's I, honestly upsetting. These people are real, and this person is real. And I am, am obviously real. So that's five people. And then we have the five players here. All of these are farms. And if you are seeing this, Gennaro, then you will recognize this character quite well. Because this character was in LGS and was a spy for IFK to see, excuse me, to see what you guys were doing, to scout your coordinates and your locations. And I can tell you right now that there's another character, uh, another member in your core that is doing the same thing. Mainly the only reason being that we don't like your guys' threats. So we're going to make sure that you can do nothing about it. That you cannot physically harm us in any way without us knowing beforehand that it's coming. So I am 
more than willing to share the, all this information because you guys really just don't scare me anymore. And you never really did. But for a while, when you had all of your top members, I, I didn't want to talk too much shit. So, is what it is. Because I know better to take care of my members and to not let my, um, not let my boasting and my threats get the better of my entire core. So I would rather take care of them and keep quiet than do what you do, and that's exactly why you're getting hit for it. So with all of that as well, these three are my farms as well. So I have three farms, and then there's one farm from one person, two from another, two from another. So four of us actually do have farms in this core. So with five members, eight farms, top 12, awesome. Their core, right as of right now, their power ranking is right here. Uh, they have 16 mil total power, and every single one of their members is a real member. So you have all of these different players. Uh, you have just absolutely insane amounts of people for their power level being so low. 46 members. In 46 members, they have 16 mil power, almost, 15.6. And with five, we have almost four million. So you want to sit there and say that the ratios are a little bit in my favor, you'd be having an understatement. So I'm going to show you how to hit. So with my hits, how I normally do it is I make sure first that my Air Force is set up the right way. So you go into your plane and all of this right here is your gear. I've been getting all of my gear for free, so it's not the best gear in the world, but every one of these, except for maybe one of them, I think this one, yeah, this one's paint production, I don't have a replacement for that. This is increased copter attack, uh, that's increased uh, plastic production, increased vehicle attack, and increased commando attack. But for those two, I do not have a replacement for, so I can't really do too much. My Air Force is all set up and ready to go, and then we worry about our formation. The formation, you do the unit details, you go into the top right up here in the formation, and you set up your formations. The formation that I am currently going to be using is Roger, because he has the ability for Blitzkrieg. Um, it allows me to march anywhere that normally would take me a minute and 15 seconds. It now reduces that march time to 10 seconds. And with that... It will be a very quick hit. Normally, I'll be in and out of an entire base or an entire core within a minute. So they can't really do too much about it. Uh, then you have the healing kit time and the emergency or the energy enhancement. Both of those are not dealing with the uh, battle because they are dealing with your uh, Chinook operations. Then we have Lee, and he is going to be increasing my unit's attack, defense, and HP by 4.8%, and it reduces the enemy's unit's uh, defense and HP by 6%. So again, very useful. I could, if I wanted to, also utilize uh, Lupin. Lupin will allow me to go 30% of the way, so if I was marching 10 seconds, then it would show up at the 7 second mark that I was actually attacking, so it would be even less time. Uh, when it comes to a margin of only three seconds, I would much rather have Lee because he allows me to have a boost, and it's only three seconds difference. So for me, I would personally use Lee in this situation. We have the Air Force assigned, and then we have all of our troops. So there's a lot of Tier 4s, a few T3s. Uh, there's the maximum amount of troops that I can have in this march. Uh, we even have some Tier 6s in here, and I can show you here in a second why I have so many tanks. So I have been doing a lot of research, and you can see I'll, show, I'll only show this page because I don't want too much given away. I, I have been doing a lot of research on the Tier 1 technology, but I've also started to unlock Tier 2 technology. I am almost halfway through Combat 3, as well as a quarter of the way through Legion Weaken 2. All of these allow me to weaken my enemies when I research these uh, buffs. So in doing those, I have gotten quite, quite far in the research trees and have been doing quite well 
uh, to be able to buff myself up without actually buffing my power very much. The secret to trying to lay low in a battlefield is to not have insane amounts of power. If you want to have a high level HQ, that's great. Don't spend all of your money and don't spend all of your uh, speed ups and resources on troop training when you should instead be searching or spending it all on research and your buildings and uh, your Air Force officers. I personally don't have any defense facilities other than a few, but I'm making some more and we will have those done in 15 and a half hours. But I don't want to wait that long. I just want to go ahead and get this hit done. So we have the Air Force done. We have the formation done. Then we have to worry about our buffs. So for our buffs, what we want to do is go into our items and see anything that we need. First off, your buff, you could use the flag right here. If you wanted to, if the enemy is quite powerful, you can use these, um, I think they're flag horns is what they're called, but you can use them and they will allow you to activate certain buffs with this buff being 20% of his command center's defense units will not engage in the battle. I want to destroy everything that he has and make him heal as much as I possibly can, so I'm going to not use this. If I wanted to upgrade it to level 16, it would make it so that his attack, defense, and HP of all of his command center defense units is minus 20%. So it would make it even better for me to go and attack him and anybody that I want to attack within that time frame. Now, I do have two targets here, and you'll see that using Roger, you are allowed to use him three times a day. And it's your first three marches that you send with him. So I have more than enough that I need in order to utilize uh, Roger and make it so that I can get out of there, get out of there very quickly. When I'm done, I'll also be randomly teleporting. Normally, I would teleport to a specific place, but because I do not want my location to be tracked by anybody who wants my, watches my videos. I'll be random teleporting and I'll end up wherever I end up and then I'll just teleport off the video where I want to go. So it'll be a little bit more expensive, but in order for me to do this safely, then that is what I'm going to have to do. We have Air Force, we have that, we have the rest of our buffs. So the rest of our buffs are going to be these right here, the 12 hour 20% attack and defense boosts. So every time that you attack, you definitely want to use these unless you know for a fact that you're going to win with hardly any losses. If you think that you're going to take more than 3,000 losses, even, even 2,500, anything that's low, then you will definitely want to put a attack and defense boost on because you want to guarantee the fact that you have as many of your troops left over as you possibly can have. So... We have the buffs on, we have, uh, yeah, these are flag horns, so that is what they're called. We have everything that we need to do uh, the attacks with. So, I have already randomly teleported, so I'm allowed to go outside of my HQ. As well, if you have one of these, uh, then it is very beneficial as well. Let me show this uh, in here. The HQ buff. You can go to, oh, sorry, it is personalized appearance. That is what it is. So the carousel, uh, I had this activated and it's still up for a little over three and a half days, but it allows me to have an extra unit attack of 30%, defense of 30%, and HP of 40%. So I will be able to have even stronger um, attacks using the personalized appearance. So all of this stuff combined, plus all of my research, plus the buffs that I've put on, everything combined along with the tier of my units, it will all pack such a large punch that even though I don't have a lot of power and I don't have a lot of troops, I will still be able to completely wipe out somebody that, say, had 3 million power, 4 million power because it's all troop-based. They don't have any research behind it. I would easily be able to wipe that out. And a good example of that is if I was to go to there is an event right now this is where I love to practice so if you guys want to get some good practice in then this is where you go is the joint military exercises if you want to try your units a certain way if you want to try your air force a certain way if you want to try uh, doing anything that is battle related 
then you definitely should be doing this. So you have all of your troops that you can get. You're allowed to do anything right here that you want to set up your officers. You're allowed to have the maximum amount. If you only wanted to use the amount that you are able to march with, you can. And then you are able to do all of the troops that you want as well. And this is all based upon the troops that are inside of your HQ when you start this. So that is my unit formation done. Then I go to enter. I currently have attacked these guys. And as you can see, there's already, I believe this is a level 20 HQ. Uh, I do not remember exactly. But I don't feel like waiting and refreshing, so I'll spend 20 gold. And we can see that there are there is a level 17. Let's see. Get more attempts by recharging. Let's see. Nope. Boost power rapid development. Two. Get one more chance to turn cards. Well, I don't know if I will be able to do it, but you are able to attack these guys using your HQ actually right here. Remaining chances. I'll buy one just so I can show you. So say this one right here. It doesn't show his attack level, but he's HQ 15. What is this? HQ 26. And then these guys are 29s and 30s. 29, 29, and then a 30. So this is the only one, unless I do another, I'll try to do it for the video and see if I can get anybody good. So we have, and that is a maxed HQ. Uh, there's a level 30. Here we have a level 20 and another level 20. So let's just go ahead and pick one of these guys. Um, I guess you. So what you do is you just hit attack and your troops will instantly tell, uh, march there and it will attack and it will come back. Now this is a level 20 HQ, mind you, and I'm only a level 16 HQ. So by me being shown that screen, I know that I've won. So I just won against a level 20 account and it shows that I only would have lost in this scenario. He only had 31,000 units and I had 96,000, but he would have lost all of his units and I would have survived with 86,000. So I don't think that that was the greatest example. So let's see if I can hit this level 20 and see if he'll be any different. So we, did, we actually ended up losing that one. And against the level 20, not too surprised, he also had 151,000 units. I was able to only kill 7,700 of his because I'm guaranteeing you of his research. He also has really good commanders. Uh, he has a decent copter. Uh, Air Force, sorry, was reading this. He has a decent amount of stuff that is quite high level and quite good. And as a level 16, I really shouldn't be expecting to win against a level 20 unless I know their power, I know a lot more about them. If I was to go and look up this person, I'm quite sure that they would have a lot of power and a lot of research, and they are able to more effectively win in that fight. So let's go ahead and get to the actual fighting. I'm sorry that I postponed it so long, but I wanted to make sure that I covered everything that I possibly can. So this is their HQ. Uh, their cork uh, area and my targets are going to be this right here as well as this right here so what I plan on doing is something quite simple I want to try to teleport as close as I can to one of these targets so I don't believe that I'll be able to teleport right here nope so I can't teleport anywhere over here the closest that I could get is nowhere near this player. So then I have to try to come down to the other player that I'm trying to hit. Can I teleport here? I can. So right here is a perfect position for me to teleport to, hit him as fast as I can, uh, or even better, I should probably hit the further one first. So I'll hit Legends first. I will attack him, speed my troops back to my base, once I speed them back, I will then instantly send them to Gennaro. They will have a very short march time back. So the reason why I want to do this, you have your long march time here, and it's the furthest one away from your base. The enemy, if they were ready and prepared to face you, would be able to find your marching line coming back, go to your HQ, and they can time their attacks with their speed ups, 
to hit your HQ as soon as the troops that you sent arrive back at your base. So you want to hit the further one first because they're not expecting the attack, and then you want to hit the closer one so that you have a lot less of a marching time, and then you're able to get your troops back to your command center as fast as you can, and then teleport away or put a shield up. I will personally only be teleporting away. This is probably going to make a lot of these people pissed, uh, but I really don't care because these two deserve to have their uh, HQs burned for what they've been saying in the field. So I am ready to go. We have the formation set. We have everything ready. So first thing we do is our buffs are on. I want, am I sure I want to teleport? Here we go. So we have this HQ first. Go ahead and hit the first formation, deploy it, hit as fast as you can, which is going to be the six seconds. I'm going to speed it up just once, just so that I can do as good as I can and get it back home as fast as I possibly can. And I get it down to about 16 seconds is fine. So I hit him. He is now shielded. He did not expect the hit. Now he is burning for it. So now, as soon as I see this part go away, I want to hit attack. Oh, and he's already shielded, so he knew that I was going to be here, and now I'm gone. And it is just that fast. As soon as you want to get the hits in, you do it. That is it. Now, as soon as his shield comes down, I will be ready to attack him again, and I'll be ready to burn him one time because I have no desire to burn anybody more so than what they deserve. I definitely do not want to be a dictator on this battlefield. I just want to make it known that I am not going to put up with anybody hitting me and, or anybody talking crap about me, and I will definitely smack you if you want that to happen. Here is the battle report, because I'm sure that people will want to see it. 43,000 uh, kills and 1,600 losses. So I would say that's a pretty great hit. You have 214,000 power loss, so he has to heal 32,000 troops, and he actually physically lost 11,000, and all I did was lose a measly 1,600. I hit and got a lot of resources. That's not what I was after, but it's always nice. You have his defense here. You can see that he has a little bit of his technology done, uh, nowhere near the amount of stuff that I have. And that's why, right there, technology is an amazing uh, resource that you can use to your advantage. You have your unit enhancements, so I was able to enhance my units 1%. I have no idea where that came from, but it's beneficial to me, and I like it. Uh, as well, the command bonus, I had my bonus attack and defense 16.2%. I have the counter to all of the unit types for my robot. 40%, and then I have all of these extra buffs, because that is the buffs that I put on beforehand, as well as the carousel. Uh, it was able to, the 20%, the 20% for my attack and defense buffs, and then we had the extra 30% for both of these, and 40% of the HP for the personalized HQ appearance. Then these other 2% were also from the HQ appearance. The extra damage taken, I believe that was uh, something in my research. I don't actually know where that came from. But it's beneficial, and so I'm not going to question it. So you can see fairly easily that it's not too hard to have a very good amount of power just in your units because of the research without actually having a lot of units. So with all of this, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. I have some stuff that I need to go take care of in real life, and I just wanted to show that before anything else happened. Uh, before they started thinking that I was going to get soft on them, and if they wish to attack me again, then that so be it, that's fine. I brought it upon myself. Just know that my core is ready for you, and we have already talked everything through. Every single one of my five members has agreed that you guys deserve to be put in your place, so I'll be looking for the hit on Gennaro whenever I get around to it, and whenever he doesn't have his shield on because he's afraid. So I thank you guys again for watching the video, and I will do a little bit more uh, if I am able to find him and able to attack him without him realizing it, then I will try to video it. But as you can see, I'm doing all of this on my computer. So I 
don't know how fast I'll be able to. They might start moving around. They might start doing whatever they want to do. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys soon.